We're going to check for a mediator between midterm scores and final exam scores. We're going to see if study minutes is, in fact, the real controller of final exam scores. So let's take a look at the model for the Sobel mediator test. Right, so this this line C here is the direct effect of uh, of the IV on the DV, which is not used. We don't use that in a mediator test. We do use the relationship between the IV and the suspected mediator, and then a new one for the mediator and the DV. So in our problem, we're looking at the midterm scores. Do they affect the study minutes? And in a separate one, do the study minutes? affect the midterm scores so this would be the indirect effect of midterm scores on final exam scores in fact it would be going through a different variable and that's the study minutes that's the one we're going to check here so let's go ahead and run a couple of fake regressions we're going to go to analyze regression linear bam so we're going to run the first regression between midterm scores is the IV study minutes is the DV so midterm scores as the IV and the suspected mediator as the DV. And we're going to just check the little stuff. We're not, we're not going to worry about the assumptions on this one. But what we do need is the coefficients from the midterm score. So 0.172 is the unstandardized B weight. And its standard error is 0 0.305. Let's Okay, 0 0.172, 0.705. 0.305. Let's repeat the process with a shifting around regression linear. Okay, kick these guys out. 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 Out with you. And then the model would say from the mediator, that's your IV this time, to the DV, which is final exam scores. Everything else should be checked already, and it is... And we just click OK. Again, all we want is those, those coefficients from the coefficients box. So this one is 0.077 with a standard error of 0.015. So that's that one. So now we have what we need to go to our Sobel mediator test. I put the link to the online calculator on the page for you. So let me pull that up real quick. And here it is. Let me pull up the numbers I already forgot them <laughs> all right so a is point forgot them again hold on a second try to get them both on the screen for you guys so it's 1.792 and B is 0 0.077 Standard error, standard deviation for A is 0 0.305. And for B, it's 0 0.015. And then you cross your fingers. So I entered them and I hit calculate. So you notice this first row up here is the Sobel test. There is the p-value, 0 0.0000001, which is less than 0 0.05. Therefore... The study minutes is, in fact, act, is acting as a mediator between the midterm scores and the final exam scores. So that's how you check to see if something is a mediator. There are other tests besides the Sobel test to, to find out if something is a mediator. But just remember, it, uh, if, a, if a variable is a mediator, that means that's the major player. That's the one that is really affecting the DV. And the IV is really affecting the mediator, and then the mediator in turn is affecting the DV. That's the whole thing about a mediator. MGZ out.